hey it's me Bree, and we're gonna do something this is gonna make it on the internet this time i keep filming videos and then i hate editing so i don't edit them then they get lost in the shuffle because my phone's filled with videos and pictures your girl does too much but i'm trying to actually be like <laughs> anyway <laughs> so, hi uh today what we're gonna do is a little unboxing video so I am an avid user of Ipsy uh, slash BoxyCharm. They're not combined. Um, I had to film myself opening stuff around that time. I'm so mad it didn't get out, but it's fine. It's cool. We're starting anew. Um, but I also sometimes I like to grab their little like extra like little mystery bags that they'll have like on the website and stuff. So I got some of that today. Um, I was also dumb and accidentally purchased the same like little extra mystery bags twice so we're gonna see if they are just like uh how do I do this my thoughts are crazy okay so a lot of times what they'll do it'll be like a bag and be like here's some stuff like it'll have a theme to it um but the bags kind of like different stuff so we're gonna see if this is like a curated type of bag where it's like the same stuff even if you get two bags they'll have the same exact thing in them or if it's like oh no there's like like a grouping of products we choose from but two bags won't be the exact same so i guess we can find that out today on accident i didn't mean to do that um but first let's get into the first two i had gotten these are i've had these for so long it's so sad like these first two i don't even think are still available but the other ones i got through i'm pretty i'm like 95 percent sure are still on the ipsy website so the little ones tend to be 14 and the bigger ones tend to be 30 the little one is going to be like five to six uh, samples the big one should be five to six full-size products anyways here's the first two i don't know the names of these bags <sighs> i know i don't i'm not an organized person like you should see the mess that is my living space at the moment regardless um here's the first one so here's the thing why are the products not in the bag? This is my first gripe. Um, all of them are like this. It has a bag and a products. It's supposed to be a bag of products. It, it is a bag of products. It's a plastic bag filled with the products and the bag of the products are supposed to be in. I don't like that. <laughs> the, the product should be inside the bag. I'm also still waiting on my, what month is this, July? July bag to get here. So what we're doing in the meantime until the July bag gets here. So I'm going to put the bag, the products in the bag myself and then pull them out um because i'm going to do what the fuck should already been done they all fit just fine they fit why were they not in there to begin with i don't i don't know my camera keeps moving down because my phone is on the charger and this thing is not very tight i prefer it to be up here and it's slowly moving down as we speak we get what we get. Okay. Anyways, this bag is super cute though. <laughs> I do love this bag. It feels like nice and smooth. Love the little color grading on it. But yeah. Oh, and it says good vibes on the zipper. Ugh, I love these bags so much. I have way too many of them and not enough reasons to use them. I could use them for gifts, but I love them so much. I want them for myself. Um, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. We will ignore my hoarding tendencies. Uh, first thing I pulled out is from what is this pink lips pink lips it is a what is this liquid lipstick it's the color cherry bomb that's good to know but what is it is it a lipstick a lip gloss <gasps> this writing is so small well, i don't know well, i don't know i don't know it's either a liquid lipstick or just a um uh, lip gloss so there's gonna be minimal editing in this because I hate editing that's normally what trips me up Try, I'm done I'm done trying to edit stuff to be like reasonable <laughs> um, but yeah here it is this is actually looks like a pretty color can I put it on right now should I maybe not right <gasps> doesn't smell like anything that is a really pretty red though I thought I had a lot of lip products until I went back through my lip products and I don't have as many as I thought I did probably because I keep losing them I lose lip products all the time Anyways, next, this is something I, oh no, this is different. This is from the company Feel. This is a cleanser, a hemp oil cleanser. I've gotten, I think, lip balms from this company before that I really like. I've never seen a cleanser from them before though. And I do like the lip balms. It's packaged literally the exact same as a lip balm. That's why I thought that's what it was, but it's not. 
but that's cute i like the little packaging of this the color is really pretty it's so like minimalist which is in right now i am a maximalist kind of person though so it's fine it's fine next is from wander beauty it's a volume and curl mascara of so many mascaras that is something i do legitimately have too much of because i don't even use like mascara lasts forever but i do like sample size mascaras um Let's see what the brush looks like. This is a really pretty, like, colored tube, though. I like the color. Ooh, it's got a little fluffy brush. It's like an angled fluffy brush. I love a fluffy brush. Too many have, like, those comb brushes now. I want volume in my lashes, baby. Okay, what's next? Sorry. Oh, I have Red Bull around here somewhere. I should drink that. Not sponsored. I don't know if Red Bull does sponsor content creators which I would not call myself that just now <laughs> but if they do and I ever become somewhat big Red Bull sponsor me because that's like the main I drink Red Bull liquor and water that's it anyways next is the pistache skincare pistachio oil hydrating hand cream why was that so hard to say I've used something from this product before. Don't remember what it was, but I love a hand cream. Um, my hands get hella dry. Actually, they're kind of dry right now. And I love to keep like um, hand cream in my purse at all times. I can't open that. It's fine. I'm sure it's great. Um, love it. <laughs> What's next? I have so many things. Um, next is this. I don't know how to say this company. Brio. Brio Geo? That doesn't sound right. That can't be right. I can't, I don't know. I can't read. It's a Superfoods Avocado Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. So I normally don't, I'll try it out. I mean, it's in here. I love a good hair mask. Like my hair be dry, dry. So I love a good hair mask, but I have been trying to buy more black owned hair products. Mini shout out to Eden Body Works. This one busted. I actually got these off the Ipsy website. That's where I first found the company. Um, so whenever they have products on like Ipsy for like four bucks, I get them. They're only like 10 bucks on the website. Love that stuff. Like they have so many products. So good. Love them. Slight tangent. <laughs> Next thing is Anastasia Beverly Hill Clear Brow Gel. I know I already have this. That's the box. I'm trying to get out the box. Oh yeah, I have this one. It's in a really cute though, like golden bottle. I mean, it's just, it's a clear brow gel, which is safe for something like this that isn't personalized. It's so clear. It looks like there's no product on there. I like a good brow gel. My brows can be unruly. I don't know how to actually do my eyebrows because they are pretty dark, but they do get pretty unruly. So I do like a good brow gel just to slick it all down, make me look more presentable, especially since people care about eyebrows now. And that's the last thing in this bag. <laughs> But it's pretty good. You got a good mixture of products, like a lip product, mascara, brow gel, hand cream, cleanser, hair mask. This is a good like little blend of products, actually. So I'm not mad at that at all. That is a funzy, funzy one. And the bag is cute. All right, we're gonna move on. Again, not in the, why? Why is it not in the bag? This is like the bigger version of that last one. Again, I don't think this one is on the website. Again, this bag is so cute. This is such a cute, like, it's pretty big too. It's like a really nice big makeup bag. Oh, so this looks like something you take on vacation, like baby. Baby, and it's bright and colorful, which I love. I'm wearing black right now. But don't get it twisted. Your girl loves a good color. This one, two, three, four. And these do have six products in them. Obviously. If you can count, you would know. <laughs> but again, all the products fit in this bag just fine. There's still like good room in here. They could have packaged them in here. It could have been done. They chose not to. Which frustrates the heck out of me. Because I can see all the products in the clear bag. The fun of these bags. Especially these. Like your normal like Ipsy Glam bags and stuff. You can see all the products you're going to get on the website. These you don't know until you get it. So the fun is opening up the bag and seeing what it is. But when it's in a clear bag. I can already see everything that's in there. 
before I opened up the cute bag. Like it's not as, it's like if someone put all your Christmas presents on the outside of the Christmas wrapping then the Christmas wrapping was just like in there in a clear bag with the products instead of the products being inside the wrapping products presents. You know, you know what I mean? I just don't like it. This one says good energy. And a little zipper. Anyway, super cute. Very summery. I love the vibes. Um, we're going to start with this long thing of bubble wrap. If I can get inside of it. Where is the product in here? I don't know. It's like a little square too. Why is it so <laughs> deep in there? There we go. Here we go. This is Dose of Color. This is a cute little box. I don't know what's inside of it nope don't know oh there it is no it just says caffeine queen what does that mean what is this i don't know it says how to use use with fingers for maximum application <laughs> like it literally is not telling me what this is on this box that is wild to me it's still not telling me what it is block party eyeshadow finally i finally found out what it is it's eyeshadow it's called caffeine queen Ooh, that is a nice shiny like almost purpley brown color like it looks like brown with a purple shimmer in it it's really bumpy i don't know if i like that Ooh, that's a cute color like that's a swatch like that's really cute actually i do like that this would be a very wearable shade for me it's got a little mirror in it most eyeshadows i feel like don't have like little mirrors is there a little film on this mirror or is the mirror just gross it looks like the mirror is just gross. Yeah, it's just a gross little mirror. But that's cute. I do like the packaging. Like, it's really cute. And it is a cute eyeshadow color. Nice and sparkly. I love a sparkle. I love, like, a just neutral brown color. Like, let's just chill like that. Um, What's next? Just we're grabbing this big old bottle. This is Lip and Eye Makeup remover by tom molly it is <laughs> in partnership with the minion so it's got like these little flowers with minion faces in it which is pretty cute the bottle with the gradient is super cute i love a makeup remover because i use one like every night because i wear makeup um but it looks like it's a separate like one where it's like the oil and the water i just shook it up so it's all like emulsified um but yeah that's cute it's a lip and eye makeup remover, so it should be pretty strong because you need, like, the extra strength to get, like, makeup all the way off your eyes and stuff. But, yeah, it looks like just a regular, regular one. I've used stuff from Tom and Molly before. Or Tom, why did I call it Tom and Molly? Tony Molly. That's what it's called. Um, But I've used their stuff before. It's, like, real basic, real simple, very cutesy, but it works. So, I'm, I'm excited to have this. Like I said, I love a makeup remover. What else is in here? Oh, a little, little lip balm, little lip balm, Lasting Smiles. My, um, but yeah, this is from Lasting Smiles. It's the Peach Blossom Organic Lip Balm. I think I've gotten chapsticks from them before. Uh, it's fun. I like, my lips need to be moisturized. I have super dry lips. Ooh, it smells good. I just normally don't use a chapstick. I normally use like a lip oil or a gloss type product. But this is cute. Be cute to keep in your purse. Hella simple. What's next? I want to say, well, um, let's do this one. It's a makeup brush. I love makeup brushes by Lawrence LaRousse. LaRousse. I really can't read. But it's just like a little, it looks like an eyeshadow. It looks like an angled eyeshadow brush. It's really pretty. It's like that very nice, like sophisticated, like matte gray look. The handle has some texturing on it. Yeah, you can see that. But this is a cute little makeup brush. Oh, yep, angle shading. I knew it. I have a lot of shading brushes. I use a lot of shading brushes. It's cute. I like it. Yeah. Next in here is a set of two face masks. It says moisturizing and brightening sheet masks by Playlist. It's got Tiger Grass and Snow Mushroom. That's cute. I haven't heard of this brand. I'm not a big sheet mask user. Like, I got sheet masks. I just don't use them that often. But this is a fun one. I like that. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't I don't have much to say. I don't use sheet masks. Next thing in here, what is this? Oh, <gasps> yes. This is what I thought it was. So excited. So this is by Super Goop. It's Daily Dose Hyd Hydroceramide Boost Plus SPF. Y'all, 
A, I love sunscreens. Um, I can be really sensitive skinned, especially to sunscreens. Um, so I love finding good sunscreens and sunscreens. Well, the disaster that is my life wouldn't be complete if I didn't spill stuff everywhere. So that happened and I'll worry about it later. I'm just so excited about this product. <laughs> what was I saying? I love SPFs. Um, I like Super Goop's SPFs. I've used one before and I did really like it. I think it was a sample size. This is a full size. I don't think it was this one. This is really liquidy. But it's the Daily Dose Hydroceramide Boost Plus SPF. It's got SPS 40 in it. First of all, look how cute. I love the little colors they have going on. This one's liquidy. I have not tried this one before. But I love ceramides, of course. And I love UV protection. I use my retinol. Um, I do get hyperpigmentation. You can't see it now because I covered it up expertly with my makeup. But I do have hyperpigmentation issues, especially with like acne scarring and stuff. So, um, yeah. Sunscreen. Black people think they don't need to wear sunscreen. You need it to. Aging, dark spots, all that fixed with sunscreen. Okay, please do it. I'm not a doctor or anything. I don't know if that could be taken as medical advice. I assume not, right? Anyways, <laughs> little mix, makeup brush, makeup remover, SPF. This one's more skincare heavy because you got the SPF, the makeup remover, and the mask and the lip balm. But I love a makeup brush. Um, I like the, this eyeshadow looks cute or whatever. I haven't been really big into single eyeshadows, but I have so much eyeshadow. Like, it is probably too much, depending on who you are. So singles don't really interest me too, too much. But yeah, that's those first two bags. So far, so good. So next are the ones that I'm like 95% sure you can still get on the Ipsy site today. Um, do I remember the names of them? No. Am I going to look up the names of them? Also, no. Um, again, the product is just in the flapping bag. So, I'm going to try not to look too closely at the products while I put them. This one, like, they're all separately bagged. Like, one product was on its own, and the other products are also bagged together. So, that's weird. This looks like it's five items. Like, this is also just a waste of plastic. This is just a waste of plastic. Why do you need all this plastic when you could have just put the stuff straight into the bag itself? Then you wouldn't have to wrap everything individually in plastic. And I know still itches. It always itches when I film. I think it's this light. I'm allergic to the light. Um, it's also ruining the illusion that I'm going to see if it's all the same products in each bag. Because it is. I can tell already. Both these bags, <laughs> these bags have the same products in them. So I really only have to open one. They're the exact same thing. They're the exact same thing. I already know. Anyways, now, look, they all fit. They all fit. There's no reason. They used three separate plastic bags. That was not necessary. They all fit in here. Just fine. Anyways, this is a cute little macrame looking bag with a little tassel. Not quite my style, but it does make me think of one of my friends. And I love that. And it's cute. It's a cute bag. Cute little macrame bag. It feels really nice too. And it's kind of like flexible i don't know i like it let's see what's in here anyways first thing is the smoothing hand and body scrub by fifth beauty glow on fifth beauty this is cute it's a cute little bottle i have this already which i need to use more i need to scrub my hands more than i do but i like having it next in here is the corset salt body scrub two scrubs in one bag weird um but it's got gray sea salt and bamboo charcoal that's what it is it's heckin black heckin black but i do love a good body scrub like i mean obviously it's charcoal charcoal's like everyone loves charcoal nowadays for whatever reason um but yeah i like a body scrub though so like i'm not even mad about it i'm big on body scrubs Next is by One Kind. It's Clean Slate Gentle Cleansing Cream with Tropical Fruit Enzymes. It's the bottle. I don't think you can see. It's got like a little face, like embossed. Like the bottle is like matte and then the little, this little face like is embossed and like shininess. If I turn down my light, can you see it better? No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay, that's what it is. That sounds fun. I love cleansers. I probably have too many, but I do love a good cleanser. Next is the Auto Bomb Girl Power 
Cheeks on the Go by the Balm Cosmetics, right? Yeah. I think I have this one. I do have this one. It's really pretty. It's fine. It's a fine blush. It's not really my color. I like more like very red blushes or very like deep pinks. Not like mauve -y. Like, I don't know how to explain it. This is very mauve -y. I have very dark skin. Not very dark skin, but I have dark skin. I love my dark skin. Um, but I like ready, like real, I love reds in my skin. So yeah, it's not as red as I would like. It's a little too pinky. Next we have, oh, by Shades by Shan. I like this company. This is, oh, I have this one too. Marjorie, I think this is a highlight eyeshadow. It's a thing. It's like this really pretty gold. It's just, it is a really pretty gold. I have this already though. And I do like it though. I like this company. I like the shade and everything. I think it's a highlighter. I'm gonna say it's a highlighter. It looks way too big of a pan to be eyeshadow, right? But it's a really pretty color highlighter. I love gold highlighters though. So like I'm easily pleased like that. <laughs> but yeah, not a bad haul of products. Highlighter, blush, two scrubs is weird. Why would you put two scrubs on one product? But I typically do use that blue one, the Smooth as Silk um, Hand and Body for my hands mostly. And I would love to try this on my body. Like I said, I love scrubs. I do a scrub like every other shower, so yeah. <laughs> and I love a good cleanser. This is a cute little cleanser. Um, Not bad, not a bad little haul, except for the two scrubs part. That's crazy to me. And the second bag, I'm just going to triple check that it is, yep, yep, the same products. Yep, same, exactly the same. So me accidentally getting two does not work in my favor because they're the exact same product and now I just have two of them. And I think the same goes for this one. Looks so good. Let me see if I can get everything. But this one, okay, I was really excited. Now, all these products might not actually fit. Like, again, products outside of the bag. This one, though, the products might actually not fit in the bag. Because <laughs> I'm trying to put them in now. This has a lot of big boxes, which is exciting. As, like, someone getting the products. There's a lot of big boxes in this one. So, like, yeah, this one does not fit. You're justified on this one. And at least they didn't package the products, like, together. No. <laughs> Barely fits. Barely fits. But this is a cute bag. I love this bag. Look at this. It, like, let me take something out so it closes better so we can really see the shape. Here we go. Look how cute this bag is. It's, like, pink. It looks like... A letter from the mail it's kind of like this faux leathery type feeling with this little gold chain oh my gosh y'all this is a handbag like I can't I can't hold it very well but let's see like look look at that this looks like you're like going to be walking like a business person but like a cutesy like um legally blonde-esque like bag I love this I love it it's cute I really just wanted this bag <laughs> more than anything in it. Um, but let's see what's in it. Oh, we'll do the thing I took out first. This eyelash curler by the Vintage Cosmetic Company. It's an eyelash curler. I've never used an eyelash curler before. I have very curly eyelashes. But I had recently seen a tip for curly lashes and you're trying to put on false lashes. You can actually take an eyelash curler, use it upside down. So it makes your eyelashes more straight. I want to try that. Like I said, I've never had an eyelash curler, but I do have like very, very, very like naturally curly eyelashes, which becomes a problem when I put on false eyelashes because a like if I use like the magnetic ones or like um um adhesive liner, it gets on my la like natural lashes while I'm trying to get it on my lash line. And B, when I try to put the lashes on, I always hit my natural lashes. Like trying to go up high enough to get it in, it's ridiculously difficult so i can try the tip to like try to straighten out my eyelashes so i can get those false lashes on better so we'll see if that works good good thing to have good thing to have <laughs> um next in here is a palette Woo. 
This is by, what is this, Arthur Beauty, I assume is how you pronounce it. This looks so pretty. I have a palette by them that I love. I love so much. I think, hopefully this is, is a different palette. That palette is stuck heavy in my makeup box. But this is the Manifest palette. This is, this is what it looks like. Is that not so pretty? Like, it's like embossed geometric shapes. It's so pretty. It's got this little thing, like the highest priestess. Be unquestioning of your knowledge and power. It's just that cute little car. I don't know. I like this. I like this company. I like the palette. Here it is. Is this the same palette? I literally used the palette yesterday and I can't remember. But here is the in. I'm trying to make sure I don't get my finger. Here's the inside. Is that not so pretty? And like these colors go on so smooth too. But like those purples, a lot of them are shimmers. There's a couple of mattes and a lot of shimmers. There's shimmers. There's like, they are amazing shimmers. Yeah, it says words in here. What's it say? Hello, beautiful. We have removed the mirror and magnets inside to be more sustainable. We strive to make the best sus sustainable choices in all our products. And let's be real. You probably be using this palette in front of a mirror anyways. By removing the mirror and magnets, it becomes fully recyclable, and we are saving the this palette from going directly to the landfill. It's a win-win for both you and our Mother Earth. Thank you for your love and understanding. Hashtag good vibes beauty, which I love. I do, I use like a little hand mirror when I do my makeup anyways, so that's good. And this, this packaging stays closed well enough without a magnet in it. Next, let's do, this makeup brush next what is this so far one two have i only done two things three four five five products all right oh this is another brush by la russe la russe it's another this one's like lighter colored it's got the same like texture to handle going on but it's a lighter gray this looks like just like a packing powder brush what do you call this short shadow yep short eyeshadow brush this and the angled like shader brush are the two types of brushes I use the most. So uh, like I said before, I love getting eyeshadow brushes. This one's really soft. The bristles are not cut amazingly. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, I can see this. I'm like, yeah, you can see them. Some long bristles on that side that should not be long. A little disappointing, but like not the end of the world, definitely. They feel pretty sturdy in there, so yep. Next, oh yes. Next is a Koa Life Niacinamide Booster. I've used something by them before. I think it was maybe like a toner or an essence or something, but I like this company. Look how pretty that is. Like that blue and their little logo. That's almost the Deathly Hallows, but not quite. Um, I'm excited because I love niacinamide, y'all. I am a niacinamide stan. It is what works the best on my dark marks. Um, I use it like all over my body. If I could get like a niacinamide body lotion, that would be great because I absolutely love niacinamide. But here's the bottle. It's like a little frosted bottle. You can see how liquidy it is in there. Um, intense hydration boost reduces the signs of aim, aiming, aging, and blemish control. It says add a few drops of boost to your existing Coal Life products or apply a few pumps of serum onto your palms or fingers or fingertips and lightly tap, pat and smooth out. Serum, upward motion, make sure your skin is clean, avoid eyes. So yeah, you can either use it, I mean, it's called a booster. So typically products that are called boosters, you're supposed to add them in with another product. But of course there's nothing stopping you from using it on its own. It's got its little pump on top. Yeah, it's cute. I love a nice cinnamide, like I said nice and white stand right here which means now i got two of them i might just keep both because ooh, i might mix one with the lotion like i have like a pot like a lotion pot so i might just like dunk a whole bunch of this into that with one of the lotions i really like and just use it as like a nice and my body lotion because i i get i have like hyperpigmentation all over my body so like Especially, you know, when you remove hair, like, from your legs and your underarms and stuff, they get, like, that hyperpigmentation happens. So, yeah. I'm excited about that one. Last, but not least, is a product I can already tell through the 
bubble wrap. It's a kimchi product, which I have not used any of kimchi's products. I love drag queens. Um, this is the Taylor bronzer, but spelled with a TH. This packaging is so cute. I love the chocolatey colored packaging and chocolatey color and pink. This is in 06. I went to Cabo. Um, it's a bronzer. Let's see. Let's see. This is not matched to my skin tone. So we'll see if what they put in here is. Look at this. Look at this. I've never seen this packaging in person, but I've seen it online. Like I follow Kimchi Beauty online. Uh, it's so cute. Like this bubbly heart. It fits the aesthetic. It's just a cute little, I like it. I like this packaging. It's super cute. If I can open it, if I can open it, there we go. Ooh, why does it look like that? It's a cracked, a little bit cracked, but there is that powder. I'm trying to make sure y'all cannot see how messy my room is. Okay, but there's a powder. It's really light. It's got a cute little mirror in it too. If It feels like a Barbie makeup, like in the best way possible. Mine has a little crack down it that you can't see. It's got kimchi embossed in the middle, which you also can't see because of my lighting. But I don't know how to do better lighting than this. So, but it's really cute for sure. This would absolutely not be a bronzer for me. It's way too like, ooh, it's so satiny. Like touching it with my finger feels like satin. Yeah, this would be, oh, it's actually not. I mean, it matches like my inner arm skin pretty well. Okay, I wouldn't use this as a bronzer, but I could use it as like um, a face powder. Like you see how light it is, but it kind of blends out pretty well. Oh yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, where's my mirror? There's a mirror right here. Oh yeah. Sometimes I do a thing where when I like put powder on my face, I'll put a darker powder in my contour areas and then a lighter powder everywhere else, basically. This would be really good for that. Like this powder is actually not too, I thought it was going to be way, way off of my skin tone, but like my skin is really sticky right now. I think it's the sunscreen and the um, mix with the concealer I used just came out sticky. Oh yeah, I like this powder. That's fun. I like it and I like kimchi. So yeah, so everything in this bag. I feel like this one's more makeup heavy. Got a makeup brush. Yeah, the uh, bronzer, eyeshadow, curler, and then the Koa Life. So this one was more makeup heavy. The other one was what? More skincare heavy, right? Interesting. But yes, that is everything in here. It's a pretty fun bot bag though. And I do think this bag is just super duper freaking cute. I love this. I'm carrying this as a purse. And I'll have to figure out something to do with the other one since I got two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that's it for me today. That was fun. I'm tired. I have so much to do. Bye y'all.